Hey guys, Alex here, creator of the CrocFit app and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about a how-to dumbbell deadlift. But before we get started, please give this video a like, give it a thumbs up to show support for my channel. So, a deadlift, whether it's with dumbbells, kettlebells or barbells, anything, is an exercise where you're lifting a weight from the floor to a standing position. So, a dumbbell deadlift, let's take a little look. From the ground to a standing position and back down. So, first of all, because the dumbbells are a lot lower than what a barbell would be probably um, because it has the round plates, it's gonna be a bit higher. So the first thing I wanna say is that depending on your strength, and your flexibility, being in a comfortable position here might not work. So although the first rep you've got to lift from the floor, maybe the dumbbells are quite heavy, from reps onwards, your reps can come to just here or here or anywhere, wherever your strength and flexibility allows, because what we're looking for is a straight, strong back. So if we get to a position in a dumbbell deadlift where straight back, straight back, and then we get to here and it starts to round here, we're not in a safe position anymore, okay? So first tip is keeping that straight back. Pulling the belly button in, engaging your core, and keeping that straight back. And to keep this straight back, you need to squeeze the shoulder blades together, engage the lats, which are the big back muscles underneath the, um, underneath the shoulders all the way down into the lower back, and then standing up and squeezing the glutes at the top. So what I see a lot of is that rounded back getting down to the bottom. This exercise is an all round great exercise for all over the lower body, the quads, the glutes, the spinal erectors, the hamstrings. Another big mistake I see is all about center of gravity. So in this dumbbell deadlift, let's take it from the top for example, we're dropping our hips backwards as we go down, so we're keeping the weight through the center of our feet as we go all the way down to here. What I see a lot of is coming forwards and loading up onto the toes, and then I see a lot of people's heels popping off. By doing this, we are placing a lot of load on the front of the body, and the lower back is gonna cause havoc. I get a lot of people asking, why do deadlifts hurt my back so much? And a lot of the time, it's all about the placement of your, your center of gravity. And if that is not shifted backwards, as you drop your bum back, then you're gonna get pain in the lower back if you're forwards here. And that brings me to one of the benefits of using dumbbells uh, for a deadlift, at least as a beginner or a variety in your training program, because when you're in a barbell position, the bar is out front here and we have to have it in front of our shins, in front of our body. When using dumbbells, we can actually make sure that the dumbbells are round by our sides. So we're keeping the weight through our center of um, gravity here, through our center of our body. And that is quite a comfortable deadlift position to be in, rather than round here. You don't have to do this with dumbbells. You can have them in this position here. So let's finish this video up with a couple of variations that you can take from this. So a dumbbell deadlift is what we've done, but a dumbbell RDL, so a Romanian deadlift, is where we don't bend so much and we're looking to lengthen our legs a little bit longer. Not locked out, but soft in the knees. And this is gonna place a lot more load on the posterior chain. The hamstrings are gonna work a lot more um, and the quads will work a little bit less. So from our top position, here, again, we're gonna drop those hips backwards, but leaving a bit more of a hip hinge, keeping the back straight, and we're going for an RDL. Everything else remains the same. A nice straight back, your weight is pushing backwards, feet flat on the ground, and this will work the hamstrings a little bit more. Another option we can go for is a sumo deadlift. Now, we've taken our feet a little bit wider, out turn them slightly to whatever position feels comfortable for you. From here, we now bring the dumbbells inside of our legs, inside our knees. And you can do this with 
barbell of course and a lot more comfortable with um, kettlebells is the only way with a kettlebell because you're holding on with both hands but a great way with dumbbells is to do this sumo deadlift so the first option that isn't Romanian so squatting or bending all the way down to the floor and standing up you're gonna feel the groin work a little bit more with this one but keeping the knees out wide with your feet if you wanted to try a sumo Romanian deadlift then we just keep our legs a little bit longer and go for the same angle bending the knees softly and having that hip hinge to work the hamstrings and groin a lot more and you will find that with the Romanian deadlift style the spinal erectors the lower back is going to work a little bit more in a healthy way so make sure you start with lower weights and build the strength up a lot of people get sore lower backs with deadlifts and it's usually one of the key points that I've spoken about in the technique or just the weight is way too heavy. Drop the weight down and focus on those technique um, and then build the weight up as you get stronger. It's an incredible exercise to have in your program. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Click subscribe and I'll see you in the next how-to or the next workout. See you later.